Hi there, and welcome to another episode of How To. In this episode, we're going to show you how to use Mine Factory Reloaded to do some automated farming. Uh, so this is the complete automated farming. Um, so let's get started. So we need our first things. So we need some obviously things that we want to grow. We're going to need some water, otherwise they're not going to grow right. And we're going to need some uh, energy. I'm using redstone uh, flux here from thermal expansion. But you can use any of the um, major power systems because the Mine Factory Reloaded allows you to do that. And then finally, we are going to use the planter uh, as our first thing. So the planter is fairly easy. For all of these mine factory reloaded things, we're going to need some plastic sheets and uh, factory machine blocks. Plastic sheets are raw plastic, which is just smelted rubber. There is some rubber in this, uh, so you can find some di different rubber trees if you don't have industrial craft installed. Uh, and then the machine blocks is simply some more plastic sheets on stone. So it's fairly easy to make as a low tech as a starting aid kind of text. So let's get started. So we're gonna just put the uh, factory right, or it's not factory, um, planter right here. And I realized that I can't really place it here. So I wanna place it one into the ground. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, put this here and I can place this against this. And then we'll just power this up. I forgot I put that there. So there we go. There's the planter. It's working away. You can see it's uh, the energy level in RF, MJ, and in EU. And every five ticks, it will try and perform an action. So let's just go back up here. Now, the most efficient way to do this, of course, is to put the water just in like that. That way you can have your uh, four tiles out from it that are able to plant with and pretty good. So let's put some seeds in here. So I put the seeds in and straight away you see that they just got planted. Just kind of all over the place as well. I could put another one in, another one, another one, another one, a few more. So there you go. It's not a really big area. And you see it's not using any more seeds now. Okay, so it's not really great. But let's just pick these all up and I'll show you. You can actually, if you look at, and let me pick the water up. There's little colors on each of the corners and the sides of the block, which correspond to these colors here. So red is this corner, so it's gonna be this tile here. So if we put a potato in that corner and a carrot in this corner, let's just do it like this actually, it might be cool. So you see we've carrots, black, pink, and purple. So black, pink, and purple. So the carrots should come along here and the wheat should go along the middle. Obviously you can't place anything in the middle and then the potatoes should go at the end. So if I just put all of those in, you can see that I have carrots at the side, wheat in the middle and potatoes at the edge. How awesome is that? So you can have basically nine farms within the same farm. So let's put the water back down there. But like, it's not really much use if you can only plant eight crops. So, that is why we have these things. So Mine Factory Road has loads of upgrades. They are all made the same way. Uh, redstone, a gold nugget, some raw plastic, and then whatever the current upgrade you want is. So in which case, a radius increase of one, which will bring it out to here. Let's actually grab this. So radius increase of one and you can see there's a little slot here so we can put that in there and you can see straight away it's added another row on and you can see this that each one will increase by another one all the way up to 11. 
So we can have up to 12 tiles from the center tile because you get the first one for free. And in fact, there's even a cobblestone one which will make it just be the middle one. I'm not really sure why you want that, but it's there anyway. So let's make this a fairly big farm. Oh, no, not there. So we'll put in this radius of seven. And there you go, look at that. Obviously these aren't gonna grow very well because there's no water out here. But we'll leave it like that for now. It's going along there. So I have carrots along here, crops along here, potatoes along here, and you see it ran out of, oh, it's still the seeds, there it goes. So it ran out of carrots and potatoes to plant, so it can't plant anymore. So how do we harvest these things? Well, that's where this harvester comes in. Um, and we'll just get some item ducks as well and a chest as a kind of buffer. So, we can put the harvester down and you can see it has a, you have to make sure this is facing the right place and it needs power obviously. So let's get some power into this. There's some power. So this is going along. Uh, we'll put a chest here to output the stuff into. And let's get some bone meal. So let's bone meal this and it's grown there. Look at that, it's grown and then it's harvested and you can see the wheat and the seeds both come in here. So we can bone meal stuff, loads of stuff. But again, look, the radius is only three by three. So we go ahead and put the full 16 in there, or the seven, which should mean it's the same harvesting distance as the planting distance. And you can see there, stuff just got harvested there. Awesome. Now this can do a couple of cool things as well, which we will get into uh, later. So there we go, planted out there. So now, how do we automate this? Well, it's very simple. Let's get some barrels to store our, our stuff in. And let's just put it along here. And we will use our item ducts that I got here. And we'll just pull out into these barrels. And we have a pneumatic servo. And we'll just ignore. So there we go. So we get we have our stuff coming into the barrels here which is cool. So now we have this stuff here. Uh, so we want the seeds. Let's um, just grow some potatoes as well so we can get, put them in there as well. So we need to replant the carrots, the potatoes and the seeds. So that's one, three and four. So let's just come down here and we'll just knock open these. Potato, carrots, wheat, seeds. So let's take the item impulse duct again and we're gonna pull out from this one which is our seeds and ignore that 
and we'll connect it up to this item duct here. So this will bring it back into the planter. And once it's in the planter, of course the planter is going to plant the seeds again. So let's do the same with um, our carrots and potatoes. Of course, you don't have to use uh, item ducts here. You can always use build craft pipes or applied energistics or any other type of item transfer. So you can see it's it's replanted seeds down here. And if we grow stuff again with this, it will start harvesting them as well. Whoops. Oh, we got some barley. Plant that as well. And there's some cotton. So we can put the barley and cotton in there if we want, but uh, we'll leave it for now. So there we go. There is automated growing and harvesting. Now, I did say there'd be one more thing, and the one more thing is you can actually use these to grow trees as well. So if I go there, uh, Blue is purple, this one. So if I put, say, spruce trees in here and fir trees in here, then we should have trees growing. Now, the one thing I'll say about this is if the ground got plowed, then the tree normally doesn't grow. So you want to make sure you, the um, the ground isn't plowed under the where you put the trees. Now there's a cool little thing on the harvester is that you can shear the leaves as if you silk touch them. Or you can uh, also harvest shrooms or if you want the jungle wood to be harvested, say if you're harvesting uh, cocoa, you can use that as well, which is pretty cool. So that's going fine there, but we don't want to go around with this bone meal the whole time trying to bone meal this. So we want a way of making it grow faster. Well, Mine Factory Reloaded actually has a thing to do that as well. And it is this fertilizer here. The fertilizer works very similar to the harvester in that it goes at the edge of the field and you can put in a upgrade as well and it needs some power as well so let's uh we'll just actually just put this up here but you need to put some fertilizer in and how can we make fertilizer well that's why i have this little pen over here so if we get uh this sewer which is what we need um you can always obviously look at the recipes yourself, but they're generally all plastic machine uh, frame and some other stuff. But anyway, we need this sewer. If we go down into this kind of area and put the sewer in here, this also takes a range upgrade. So we'll just give it the biggest one we have. Now what the sewer does, and it doesn't need any power, is and if we get these spawn uh, cows here and just spawn in some cows there we go spawning lots of cows so if you have a nice enclosure full of cows this will or not even cows any animals it is so I'm just gonna spawn a whole load there and I can't get out of here. So there is a load of cows. So if we come back down here and look at the sewer, we can see that it's full of sewage. What do we do with the sewage? Well, we take this composter. Uh, and we'll just put it here. And we need some fluid ducts. I forgot to get I'm 
if we pull the sewerage out and it automatically comes out and into the composter, the composter does need some power. So we have another power cube here. So the sewerage, and if we stand back, you can see I'm already... I have no idea why I'm getting these. I'd say that's a bug, but um, you can see that it is throwing out industrial fertilizer, which is perfect. So what we can do is we just we can pipe this industrial. Fer uh, well, we can actually we'll put a chest here just to be as a um, kind of buffer for this stuff. I do like to put some buffers in. So that is should be outputting into there. Yeah, you can see it just went up. And then we can pull out of that. And if we bring that right into the the fertilizer Get out of my way, cow. So, if we just dig down under here. There we go. So that should bring the fertilizer into this... Uh, industrial fertilizer into this fertilizer. And there you go. So then this will basically bone meal your field. And now we'll see these trees being harvested. Or we should see them. And there we go. There is a fully automated, fast growing farm. That is just, you know, brilliant. And it's farming all sorts of things. You can get your... Oh, you see, ah, that's why we got the blue stain saplings. This uh, harvester actually started harvesting this tree that was over here. There we go. So that's it. Um, I hope that was some use for you. If you have any questions about it, uh, let me know. If you um, have any improvements or anything that I left out, just let me know in the comments. And if you like these videos and like my other videos, then please feel free to subscribe. And there you go. Look at that. Um, I made great use of this in one of my Let's Play series. So I hope this was enjoyable to you. and. Uh, I will see you later.